While some builders overcome obstacles alone, others have always relied on the community. In this strange one meter high maze of dark tunnels, it's surprisingly quiet, given that hundreds of thousands of residents live here. This is the home of the Formica rufa, or southern wood ant. Most are still hibernating, but one ventures outside. In the Jura Mountains of Switzerland, spring has sprung at last. Time for the rest of the colony to wake up. Only heat can revive their bodies. The ant is a cold-blooded animal whose body temperature depends on its environment. Those closest to the surface scurry to the top of the mound to sunbathe. Then, like mini radiators, they transfer the heat energy into the nest's galleries. Little by little, thousands of drowsy worker ants spring into action in the depths. To ensure the colony's future, activity absolutely must resume. And the future is this, the queen. The largest of all, and the only ant capable of giving life. The anthill is her fortress, her protection. But to create the ideal conditions for her royal mission, the nest must be a constant 25 to 30 degrees Celsius all summer long. To meet this major challenge, the ants first choose a strategic spot. The dome-shaped mound is built against the base of a spruce tree. Its branches provide protection from the worst excesses of the weather. And all the building materials the ants need. Small twigs and conifer needles are the best things the colony has found to insulate the mound. But one side collapsed during the winter. It must be rebuilt fast. How is the activity of thousands of workers effectively coordinated? Ants have a secret, pheromones. Invisible chemical signals that the ant deposits along its route, which tell the individuals behind it what to do. Thanks to their powerful mandibles, or jaws, these ants can dig, cut, and carry 100 times their own body weight. But all this physical effort has a dual purpose. This mass of gathered vegetation does not only strengthen the structure, it is also a great source of natural energy. The conifer needles in the mound 
decompose continuously. And all this rotting detritus keeps the ant's nest warm. Well before humans, ants understood the benefits of compost. But rot and decay must not be synonymous with dirtiness. And the ants' constant forays into the outside world present a health risk. The workers have a very effective solution, though. Placed at each of the nest's entrances, these lumps of spruce resin serve as antimicrobial floor mats. Because among ants, to prevent contamination of the colony, cleanliness is vital. But the temperamental climate calls for other solutions. Once more, the inclement spring weather puts these ingenious builders to the test. Again, the ants make use of the spruce's natural properties. Like a thatched roof, these conifer needles make the structure waterproof. All that remains to be done is plug the odd hole. As the workers race around frantically on the mound, deep underground, preparations are underway. All the conditions are now in place. And for the queen, egg laying can commence. As the next generations of workers emerge, outside, summer is on its way. And the heat, vital for the newly laid brood, could be deadly, forcing the ants to surpass themselves in their quest for solutions. <laughs> 